Yeah, he's looking uh, <laughs> half like an event. Half show ready. We've had a few complications. Oh, no. The time is half past eight and I'm pleased to report we've had our first Starbucks stop of the event day. So it's a real proper road trip now and we're going to be there in about an hour's time. So we've just made it to Shelford, which is not a new venue for me. I've competed here earlier in the year, but with Rochelle because it's pretty close to the uni yard. It's a little bit more of a track from the home yard, which means mum's never actually been to Shelford before. So she's only really seen the lorry park and the dressage, but first impressions? I'd say it looks all right so far, but as you say, I haven't really seen much. We've done a three hour drive to get here and um, we're looking forward to getting out and having a look and seeing what's on us. It's in use. <laughs> why? What do you want to show? You can take it. Yeah, it's all the hair coming out. It's winter on its way. Star has picked a favourite person to do his plaits and it's not me. Which just works well for me. Say, I'm not sure I pass those off as mine. I, I'm going to try and do damage limitation, but... Right, good morning everybody. I realise I didn't actually properly intro the vlog yet, but welcome to my Shelford event vlog. I've been here once before earlier in the season. New venue for mum, not a new venue for star. It's a little bit of a trek from home for us. It took us three hours to get here this morning. So you're probably thinking, why? What's so special about Shelford? Well, we have actually found ourselves at the top of the Agria B100 point series. It's the inaugural year of the series and Shelford is the final qualifier Fire, like the final place you can get points ahead of the grand finale at Osberton around the one star track so we kind of thought why not he needs another run ahead of Osberton this seems like a good one to kind of target just getting ready for dressage and then we're gonna have to run around the cross-country course before my show jumping so it's gonna be a busy one but hopefully it's gonna be a good one I've put studs in mum's brushing the tail I actually think we're in really good time I don't want to be on for another 40 minutes what do you think of mum's cap Rate it out of 10. <laughs> it's quite distinct, do you know what I mean? No one's missing the fact you've got a cap on. I like the lilac, it's a, it's a major breakaway from blue. Yeah, it's it really is nice. I'm not sure it goes with the uh, coat though. Doesn't it? I'm not sure about that one. What I'm do you think, Star? <laughs> right, Star and I are about to go and do B Dressage Test 106, which we've already done twice this season, which I know what you're thinking. What an advantage, you've already done it a couple of times. However, if you watched the BCA vlog or the Breitling vlog, you will know this is the test that I love to strike off on the wrong lead in the second canter. And I don't know why, I don't know where it's coming from, but I can tell you that I'm not going to be relaxed until after we've struck off can on I the ask second a question? canter lead. You can. Why are you blaming Star? Well, the first time I think I took full responsibility for it, but the second time I made it very clear. So he has to take responsibility for that one. And if it happens today, it's not my fault. Are you listening, Star? He's no, he's definitely not. It. So dressage arenas. Round the crystal line park.
right, dressage test voiceover time, and I actually haven't watched this back yet, but you will see throughout the rest of the vlog, I was very disappointed with my test. So it's gonna be interesting to see if it looks as bad as it felt, because it truly did not feel good. Even from the center line, I felt that he was drifting right, you can see he was, but I felt that wasn't me. I felt I had my right leg on and telling him very clearly, get back over, and I'm thinking, why are you doing that, mate? <laughs> I like to think I take responsibility for wonky center lines and things like that, because I think it normally is, the rider's fault but that I felt came out of nowhere and we got a six flat accordingly and then here it's just clunky it just feels like he's not really listening to me so we turned left turned right and we got a six for that and then we start a three loop serpentine I'm not saying our warm-up was amazing it, it wasn't by any stretch of the imagination but it felt a lot better in the warm-up than it did in here it felt like I put my leg on in the ring and he sort of shoots forward a little bit and then I take my leg off to stop him from shooting forward and then he just shrivels up into nothing so it kind of returned to a bit of a sensitive style which I don't know why he was really chilled getting ready we got a six for that three loop serpentine time with the comment that we need to develop suppleness more and then for the transition to canter we got a 6.5 so it's not been a great start in terms of marks, lots of sixes, a 6.5. We did get a seven for this 20 meter circle encounter and I would agree that this is probably the nicest movement in the test so far. But he just didn't feel like his heart was in it, in all honesty. Um, and then our transition down to trot was a return to a six. So you can see the marks are not trending where we want them to be trending, which is frustrating because the test that we did at Champs literally a week before was a lot more difficult and although we got, I think we got 36 for that, I was happy with how he tackled some of the difficult movements, like I would expect him to be a little bit more tense and not on the ball, whereas this is not a difficult test, I've said it earlier in the vlog, but we've done it before, so yeah, I wanted a little bit more of him. We got a 7 for our medium walk, but then a 6 for this free rein long walk because we weren't developing um, and our stretch and our ground cover with minimal, which is fair enough. And then we got a 7 for the transition to trot, which I think was probably quite generous. And then the transition to canter, we got a 6 with the comment that he was through his right shoulder. However, if you've seen my BCA Brighton vlog, that was a transition that he quite often like goes in the wrong leg. So I was happy just to have a transition to canter on the correct leg. And I did actually bump into the lovely Evie from ELS Eventing in the warm-up arena for this test. And I told her of my woes and she gave me some really useful advice about looking at his outside ears. So thank you, Evie. Maybe that advice was the reason we got on the right leg. It's very weird because he doesn't do it in any other test, but that test he just doesn't like it. Um, we got sixes and 6.5 for our canter and now we're back in a three loop serpentine, time which we got another six for which is like agony i can i don't mind a 6.5 in the test sheet sixes and this many is like so frustrating because i know we've got a better test in us than this but also i feel a little bit lost as to where this slightly unenthused star came from and i'm not going to put it all on him because i know that it's probably a lot of my riding perhaps i was not on as good form this day but it did feel like Star's head just wasn't massively in the game. We got a six for our turn onto the center line, and I think that was very generous because look how wobbly we are, and then a six for our halt because it wasn't straight or square. So yeah, a little bit of a disappointing test considering where we've been recently, and also the goal that's sort of looming, the Osmerton One Star, which has a much more difficult test. Lots of work to do ahead of then, but I'm just gonna try and put it to one side, you know, really drive the work, focus on what's ahead of us rather than looking back because you know we have done good tests recently and hopefully this was just a bit of a weird off day. rendition of that test of the three times we've done it this year which is disappointing because obviously the test that we did last week was so much more difficult than that and he just felt really tense and like if I put my leg on he kind of exploded for a second and then as soon as I took it, my leg off he like stopped those no in between our centre lines were not very central 
Um, but it doesn't matter, does it? There's not. The important one is just a bit annoying because I know he's going to do it better than that. But oh well, we're going to go run around the cross country park now. We are out walking the cross country course. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to hear me because it suddenly got very windy. It's feeling very autumnal and my camera battery is showing low charge. So hopefully you'll get to see the whole course. Otherwise it's going to be a little disappointing for you. Anyway, we are coming up to the first combination, although three to four was kind of a combination, but 5A. So let's see what we've got to do. Nearly missed this one, thanks to Vic, who went, what's that fence in there? I'm being curious, but it was actually ours. Dress our scoring. Um, it's 37.8, which Flo is a bit disappointed with. Yeah. But I think deep down you knew it because you came out and you said nothing really went quite right it wasn't really sort of listening or, or moving on when you wanted them to um a couple of obvious mistakes from a watcher's perspective i suppose wonky wonky center lines um but you know what he, he stayed calm he didn't throw his toys out of the pram we're through the dressage and we're onto the, the jump this is interesting Resuited and booted, and we're about to go show jumping, fully charged, fresh new camera battery. And uh, I think we've done quite well considering we've walked around the whole cross country course, and we're gonna hopefully be on time if I stop waffling. You've got nothing to add. Let's go. <laughs> she wants me to hurry up. Oh, goodness. Let's stand still. with myself, which is a change from the first space. I wasn't very happy with star. So that was, in Vix's words, not mine, rather lucky, but I agree. <laughs> She's glowering. Is glowering a word? So I helped you out. Didn't yeah, I don't know what happened to me. I actually thought the warm-up went all right as well. The warm-up on the whole was okay. 
but I got in there and I just feel like I kind of let him down a little bit today which is a shame because I thought I rode really well at Champs and I think I've been riding all right recently but yeah I know that I'm going to be kicking myself editing this footage and watching it back and I really thought we'd had the first part of the last double down and I could like I felt miffed about it and he was so good to leave it up and put two strides in there that's some of the worst riding I've done in uh, a while yeah so I don't know, it doesn't really matter anyway, it's not like we had a competitive dressage score so we can just go out enjoy the cross country and it's going to be a lot more straightforward than Champ was last week which he made feel easy so hopefully this is just going to be like, I don't know what's the word I'm looking for, redemption, redemption cross country, that's what we're going for. Cross country time, does my hat still look funny? It looks funny in the camera. Come and adjust me, it's just slightly... Looks any different. It is. I've had a bit of the underneath poking out. Okay, yeah. No, no. Exactly. Okay, yeah. It's like I'm getting manhandled. All right. See you after cross country. XC time. Time we both work together because I don't think we've done that so far. How was it flow? Clear and it was a lot better than champs actually. I felt I had a lot more control. I could push him on and bring him back, which then I feel more confident riding faster knowing you can bring him back. There were a couple of places early on that weren't as pretty, but on the whole, I thought it rode all right. He was really good. He was really bold because that course is causing actually quite a few problems. We were saying earlier when we were in the um, like collecting room for show jumping, all you can hear is so and so's been eliminated, so and so's had a stop. So, you know, classic style, he doesn't back off anything, he doesn't look at anything, and he jumped that combination at the top really nicely, and yeah, just took everything on. I think, yeah, I could have still been a little bit better with seeing strides and making decisions a little bit earlier, but it was nice and it was forward and it wasn't like lurchy at any point so yeah i'm pleased with it and inside the time i think i think like reasonably as well not just like a scrape so yeah happy with it right bye bye shelford we are in the lorry heading home ready for a bit of a road trip vix i am 
we can't update you with the results yet because we don't actually know the final scores but when we know you'll know okay we can now update you with the results but a far more important update first is that we have stopped at the same service as we stopped at this morning but this time for chips not for coffee so it's been a day of very healthy eating as i'm sure you can tell but the grand result was that we finished sixth which is actually not too bad i have to say i don't feel like it was a day where we particularly earned sixth but i'm happy with particularly our cross country was good and we've taken a lot from that and the aim of today was kind of to go and see if we could get any more points for the agria league because obviously star's kind of big run that's coming up soon is the one star osberton and we couldn't have got any more because we jumped a clear show jumping a clear cross country and completed and those are the three criteria for getting points so yeah happy with that have you got anything you'd like to add to the end of the vlog um, I'm, being, I'm being slightly dragged down by all the junk food on this trip, but um, it's been a good day. Yeah, Star's gone well. Lowe's been a bit down the dressage, but actually, you know, look where he was a little while ago. So I, I, I think it's all good, all good stuff. I haven't seen it yet, so I've decided I'm not going to comment on it until I've actually watched it back. That's my official tone right now. But we will see you in the next one. I think the next one's actually going to be us heading to Burley with Atty to do some show jumping, which is a bit different, but gonna be very fun. So see you then, bye.